Hey, I've seen a few people struggling with the night shift work and trying to report different things that happen. So I just wanted to give you an idea of how I report, how I patrol, basically what I do in a night to try and figure out what's gone wrong. So let's jump straight into a night shift. First thing I like to do is just sit at the cameras for like a minute, just get an idea of what's going on. It usually takes like a minute or so for someone to show up. Have you ever thought it's funny? When it's raining, it only shows up on camera too. Hopefully they'll fix that in the next patch. Like your supervisor said when he gave you the job, you can actually also patrol as well as just check the cameras. If the stink guy was coming to visit, then that manhole would be open. Other types of problems is graffiti along these walls that sometimes doesn't actually show up on the camera because obviously the camera's not pointing at the specific spots the graffiti could be on. This is certainly the case with Warehouse C. I should have taken a van. This would have been a lot quicker. So at the moment, there's nothing happened. But at the same time, I haven't been checking the cameras. There's always the remote possibility that nothing actually happens. Though I would double check everywhere to make sure that nothing has happened without you noticing. Though I've never seen anything happen outside the secure warehouses, which is cameras 7 through 9. I've got a minute and a half left. I haven't seen anything, but I need to double check again because I haven't been looking at the cameras the whole time, so I might have missed something. So let's go check out the break room first. Let's check the break room first. The manhole cover isn't open, but they do close it after them. Oh, look at that. All right, that's gonna be trespassing and vandalism because of all the, the muck everywhere. Oh dear. So he might have gone because he's closed the manhole cover after him. Let's go back and report this. So let's create a new report. We know there's definitely vandalism because we can see that. And we know there's trespass because you couldn't have vandalised without trespassing. And we know it happened in the break room. Great. So let's save that. So let's do a quick patrol just to make sure that I haven't missed anything. Usually there's only one incident a night. But I have had incidents. I have. I have had times when I've had to do multiple incidents in a single night. So we shall see. I'm going to do a quick drive by for graffiti, but I'm going to skip it forward to the end of the night. I didn't find anything else to report, so let's have a look and see what our shift supervisor says. Excellent. So we got everything they wanted, our job's complete, we now need to go for another night. Unfortunately I can only do this job once per night, so we need to go for a new day. And then kill a little bit of time in the morning. Alright, I've just finished the day shift, let's do our night shift now. And this time, I think I probably should check the cameras a little bit more closely. I think the previous night I was being a little haphazard by just wandering around. Uh, you can adjust the cameras if you like, to sort of pull them out a little bit. So like, uh, cameras 1 potentially two, three, and four, just to get a better view of everything. I swear I keep seeing something in the trees move. But if you can see on camera six, the raccoon is heading towards warehouse A. Let's see if we can head them off. If we get there quick enough, then we won't have to report anything. 
Ooh. So they open the door. They didn't quite make in, make it inside, and they didn't turn the alarm on. Is that trespass or is that not trespass? Or trespassing? If this was a real security firm in a real real life scenario, this definitely would be trespassing. So I think I'm going to mark this down as trespassing. As it's a computer game, you never know quite what the developers are wanting you to put down in this situation. But I'm just going to err on the side of caution and report it. So it's warehouse A and it's trespassing. If they got inside and opened a crate, then it's vandalism. And if they'd eaten anything or taken anything, then it's cargo stolen as well. I think that was everything. Let's save it. Let's double check the cameras, see if anything else has happened. Doesn't look like it on the cameras, so let's give it a little patrol. And this time I'm going to take the van. First I'm going to check the break room. I mean the manhole cover wasn't open. So let's see what's going on, if anything. Oh look at that. There's actually been an... The stink guy has been in. Oh dear. But, where are the, but the manhole cover is closed, so he's left. Let's go in the front of the building. Let's just double check again. So we're going to create our second report. So it's trespass and vandalism in the break room. And save. So we have two reports. I wasn't expecting it, but we did. There couldn't possibly be a third, could there? We didn't actually fully finish uh, patrolling. Let's take the van. Oh yeah, I left it at the break room. I am beginning to doubt myself on uh, the reporting of a raccoon going into warehouse A. But I have to remember, if it was a real security guard, then it would be vandalism. So we just have to go with it. There isn't enough time to go back anyway. But I can't see anything else. Hopefully that is everything. Let's check with our supervisor and find out. Let's see what the game thought. Excellent. So I reported it, it was correct. It might be that if I didn't report it, it would also have been correct. There's no way to know unless it happens again and I do it the other way around. The trick with the stink guy is to make sure that if you haven't chased him off, that he hasn't gone to a secondary location and caused a stink there, like the front of the admin building. But luckily, there wasn't a secondary location. So, pawn night shift three. Let's do a couple of day jobs to pass the time. Oh, interesting. I didn't know you could move three at a time. Uh, in my previous day, I certainly couldn't. I don't know if this is a glitch of the day or what. Oh, look, there's another one. How bizarre. Well, I'm just going to try and stack three in a row here and see what happens. Because this will make moving everything a lot easier. I suspect it's going to be a glitch. Oh, look. How bizarre. That was definitely unexpected. It looks like it's night time now, so night shift number three. Just going to move the cameras out again, just to give me a wider chance. I wonder who I'm going to get today. Oh look, stink guy, camera three. Let's leg it to the break room. Alright, almost at the break room. 
Right, he's already been and gone through the break room. Does that mean he's gone round the front of the admin building? Let's find out. Huh, yeah, there is nothing here. Right, well let's definitely file a report because we have trespassing vandalism in the break room. Oh, look at that. Warehouse B has been broken into. These last few nights have been definitely very busy. Let's check it out and see what's over there. I'm guessing theft. Oh look, it's the stink guy. I've never seen him before in a, a warehouse. So, I don't know what to report. It's definitely trespassing. Is it vandalism and cargo stolen as well? All right, we need to head back and amend our incident report to, to include warehouse B. That is definitely the first time I've seen it, seen that happen in a warehouse. It's normally always the front of the admin building. So we don't want to recreate a new one because it's the same guy. So we can just tick the warehouse B box and update it. All right, let's check the cameras again. That's weird, the sewer hatch is still open. It's normally he goes back down there and closes it. It's worth checking out. Got like a, just under a minute and a half. I mean, he did say he was leaving, so I don't expect anything else. We know that the, the break room's been vandalized. I'll just double check the front of the admin building, just in case he did it on the way out. And that's fine. Oh, looks quiet. Let's do a quick patrol for vandalism. Uh, let's double check the front, because sometimes you can get graffiti down there. Uh, and I'm going to take a van. Not that we had to do much, because there's only just like 20 seconds to go. Not a lot I can do now. In fact, the only thing I'm going to do is close that door, because he went in a different door than I went in. Okay. Let's see what the supervisor says. Was that enough? Excellent. Another good night shift work. The trick with being a night shift guy is checking everything and doing a little bit of patrolling, a little bit of camera work. If you've got the stink guy, check multiple locations, check that it hasn't been the stink guy and somebody doing some graffiti or the stink guy and somebody who's broken in and stolen some goods. Just know that sometimes there's nothing that happens, something is one thing, and sometimes it can be multiple things. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.